We've been looking at Proverbs chapter 15 this week, and we've been looking at the comparison between the righteous and the wicked, especially in how they use words and how they act. And today we're looking at verse number 8, and it says, The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. So here the passage is contrasting the worship, the devotion, the religious observations of the righteous person and the wicked person, and, and, and how God views what they do. You know, many times we, we think that hey, it's okay, go to church, just go through the motions, pray, lift up your hands, sing, give an offering, and, and it's fine, and, and you, you've covered your basis with God. But God doesn't look at things the way we look at them. He sees them differently. And so it tells us how God sees what the righteous does and what the wicked does. So it starts with the wicked and says that the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. So what, what does it mean, the sacrifice of the wicked? It's, it's sacrifice here uh, is broad. It means everything that we do in devotion to God. So it could be simply attending church, being part of a prayer group, being part of a, a music group in the church, giving out uh, of your money, doing acts of charity, being kind, being generous. All of these are the sacrifices uh, that we make. And the passage says that when a wicked person does that, God sees it as an abomination. That's serious. When something is an abomination, it means God detests it. He hates it. So, and why does God hate it? Because God expects the wicked person to repent, to turn away from their sin and not continue sinning and hoping that they can put a veneer on top of their sin and deceive God, thinking that he, he's, he doesn't think, that he, he, he doesn't see, that he doesn't reckon, that he can be deceived, that you can play games with him. And that's why it's an abomination to him, because it is a disrespect to God for a person to disobey him and still come to him and play games with him. When we have sinned, God doesn't say when we sin we should run away. He says when you have sinned, repent. Turn away from the sin. Turn your hearts to God. Then let your sacrifices follow. But don't walk in sin and think that being part of church and going through the rituals of church makes you right before God. Actually, you are making your case worse when you're living in sin and trying to please God with outward observations. But that's not how God sees the righteous. He says the prayer of the righteous is his delight. Whilst the, the sinner's prayer and sacrifice is an abomination to God, God looks at what a righteous person is doing, and it is his delight. He delights in it. He enjoys it. He takes pleasure in it. So when the righteous person goes to church and does all the things they must do, God delights in it. When the wicked person goes to church and does all the things that they, they must do, it's, a, it's an abomination. And the difference really is not that one person is better than the other. It's that one is honest with God and the other is not honest with God. One respects God and the other does not respect God. So if you've done wrong, just go to God. Go quietly and say, Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me. And, and turn your heart from it and do the right thing. And your sacrifice will become a delight to the Lord. And God bless those whose sacrifice he receives with his presence, with his peace, and with his provision. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, let my thoughts, words, and actions be true to your will and your ways. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.